very small amount of people. Most people can be hexed. Mm. Who are the people that cannot be hexed? All right. So this witch came on a podcast named Harley Initiated, and she talked about her ability to put hexes on people. And she said something that was shocking. Let's check it out. On, I think on Tasha K's platform, I heard you say that there's certain people that you can't necessarily put a hex on or curse. Very small amount of people. Most people can be hexed. Mm. Who are the people that cannot be hexed? The people that are living in their truth and they're actually connected to God in whatever way that is consistently, constantly and walking in that. Most people are not doing that. They're not doing that. That's interesting. This is very interesting right here. I want to give the definition of hex. He basically asked her, what people can you not hex? Hex means to cast a spell or bewitch, a magic spell or a curse. All right. There's a lot of people online that are ir irritated with all this talk of witchcraft and this and that. It's a level of irritation that's going on. They're like, you know, it's too much focus on it. Not, I don't think they're saying that it's not real, but just that people are focusing on it too much. Here are my thoughts about that. One of my first thoughts is in America, at least, there is this massive push towards witchcraft, people looking back into African spirituality, especially in the African-American population, especially among African-American women. And so I think it's really good to talk about it in the way that brings education and light and sheds light, because I think people are in darkness and they're just looking for anything that works. And witchcraft works, whether you want to admit it or not. Now that I've said that, she said, the people that she cannot hex, curse, are the people that are consistently and um, constantly walking in, she said, their truth or connected to their God. This immediately made me think about Ephesians, guys. Ephesians 6, 12 says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loans girt about with truth, having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith wherewith you will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray always with prayer and supplication in the spirit. Come on, let's pray in the Holy Ghost and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. When I read that, it's congruent with what she's saying. She's saying the people that are consistently and um, faithfully basically walking with God, she's not able to curse. And in the scripture, it tells us we aren't fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against spiritual forces. That in the Western culture, we have been so blinded to the spirit We've lived such lackadaisical lives. We've lived such passive lives when it comes to our faith. And I think a lot of people don't even believe this stuff is real. And the scripture clearly says, the shield of faith is how you extinguish the fiery darts of the wicked. What are those fiery darts? I believe this hex and curse that she's talking about. Those are the fiery darts and the attacks that come, part of them anyway. I think there's, you know, I think it looks, it's multifaceted that come to the lives of the believer. I mean, you can just go and you will see so many talk about how um, wicked men and women will strategically target churches to try to cause the leadership in the church to fail. You know, they talk about, they give strategy. So, I mean, at this day and age, I'm just like, guys, we have to be aware it's happening. It's happening. Avoiding it is not helping. After we've had, you know, leader after leader fall, it's time that we really take spiritual warfare seriously. And it's time that we be girded up. The Bible says to be prayed up, pray in the spirit, have the shield of faith, have the word of God, the sword, have on the breastplate of righteousness. I'm going to watch another video. I didn't know I was going to do this, but I'm going to connect this video, guys. All right, I'm going to play a video because it's so powerful. And I think it kind of overlaps with what she's talking about. I've talked about um, intercessor James Koya before. Um, he gave a powerful testimony on the Prayer Storm YouTube channel. And it was titled, I was married to a witch on the day I was born. 
powerful testimony. He came back and he talked um, about you know, deliverance and autism and all that. And this is towards the end of his second interview with Prayer Storm. And I want us to watch this and let's try to like fill in the pieces with what she, she just said. Okay, let's go. Yeah. We are in mm. the days when people take sin lightly. Mm. Yeah. In the kingdom of darkness, we know, we used to know, sorry, the sin in a man. Mm. Because the sin of a man, you always see it in their garments, mm. in the spirit. And so that seed, where the spot is, is where the arrow is targeted. Wow. That's the entry so, point for the attack. Demons, witches and wizards, let me tell you, like 5,000 can start to hit on one spot for days, for days, because they found one spot on you to hit on. And the more they hit on that, it becomes soft and soft until it begins to spread into your holes. I just want to encourage you. If you've been playing around with sin, you've been dabbling around with sin, be serious about it. Repent, confess, and know that when you are sinning, you are opening up your life to the attacks of the enemy. We are saved by grace through faith. Yes, but when you operate and live in sin and have open doors to the enemy in your life, you are allowing yourself to be exposed. And as a... Um, Apostle James or intercessor James says, you can be seen in the spirit. You might be fooling someone that can see you on the outside, but when you have people that are walking by the spirit, it can be seen. You can discern or sense somebody's level of fire by a conversation, you know, if they're on fire for God or not. And for people that are in the kingdom of darkness, they have an ability to discern where you are and if you're open for attack. So Let's keep prayed up. Let's stay holy. Let's stay righteous. Let's keep our full armor on. Listen, there are a ton of um, teachings on the live section of this channel. I'm encouraging you guys to go there, watch some. Please write your comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. God bless you. Love you with the love of Christ. Jesus preached. People reached. Spirit led. Fire spread. Let's go.